Now, what we need is a little bit of pepper in it. Yeah. You want some black? No, I love white. Whole white. She don't like black pepper. And we ought to have a little again. salt and pepper. Do you want to So you want salt and pepper on top of this? White pepper again. You want white? Mm hmm I like black pepper in mine, then. Now, would you rather have black or white pepper? Black, black, without any question, then. You like speckled food. I do. I also like taste in the food, and the black pepper has more taste than the white one. I'll put a little more pepper okay. in. I know you'd like black pepper. Yes, I this do. This is white. OK. I had a great time cooking with Julia Child. She was a good friend. Yet we did argue she preferred white peppercorn. I preferred the black one. It was a good reason for us to, you know, argue with a glass of wine or two. I use a lot of pepper, always freshly ground pepper. There are many peppercorn, green, black, white peppercorn, which are all from the same berry at different degree of ripeness. The green peppercorn are unripe, very flavorful and mild. If the berry is allowed to ripen, it turns a reddish green color, and when it's dry, the outer skin shrivels and you have black peppercorn. When the exterior skin is removed, then the result is white peppercorn. Today, I'm going to be using a lot of pepper in my dishes on Jacques Pepin, Heart and Soul.